Now let's talk about index of and last index of. Now for the syntax, it's really simple. You just need to pass in the search string as the first parameter. And the same thing for the last index of. Now index of and last index of, they both return an index, the index of the search string passed as the first argument. But there is a difference between index of and last index of, and we're going to talk about it in a minute. Now let's see some examples. So we have here a string, the code, and define code code. So this is like a stupid uh, string, but it's really going to be helpful to understand index of and last index of. And now I'm going to go and separate all the characters so I can give them their appropriate indexes. Now I'm going to go also and grab these words here and give them their indexes. So the indexes of the first character of each word. So for example, the word the has an index or starts at index zero. Code, the first occurrence of the word code has an index four. Undefined, the index nine. The second occurrence of the word code starts at 19. And the last occurrence of code is at 24. And now let's go and see some examples for index of and last index of. So I'm going to use my string here as, and then I'm going to call index of. I'm going to pass in code with capitalized C. Now code with capitalized C doesn't exist in my string. It's not found. So index of will simply return minus one. So index of is case sensitive. Now, if I go and do the same with last index of, I will also get a minus one. So they both are case sensitive. And when the search string doesn't exist in your string, they both return minus one. Now let's go to the second example where I call index of with the search string code, uh, lowercase. And I'm going to do the same thing with last index of. Now index of will start from the left here and look for the first occurrence of code. So it will look for the first occurrence and last index of here will go and search for our search string starting from the end to the left. So in this case, last index of will return the index of the last occurrence of our search string code. Now the first occurrence of code for index of is at four. So it will return four. And for the last index of, it will start from the end. And the last occurrence of code index is 24. And now I'm going to go and talk about the second parameter for our index of, which is the position. So this is an index uh, from where you want index of to start searching for your search string. The same thing for the last index of, the second parameter is position. And that's again an index where you want to start the search uh, for the search string for your last index of. So by default, if you don't pass the position parameter here, so for index of position is going to be zero by default. But for the last index of, if you don't pass in the position here, the position by default is going to be plus infinity. So index of will always by default start from zero, looking for the first occurrence of the search string. And the last index of will start from plus infinity and searching for your search string. Now let's see an example. So I'm going to call index of and search string is going to be code and I'm going to start at position four. So we're going to start now from here. Now index of will look for code starting from four and it happens to be that code also starts at four. So the first occurrence of code here index is four and four is uh, greater than or equal to the position. So in that case, index of will return four. But if I use, for example, five, now the first occurrence here of code index is four and four is not greater than or equal to five. So it won't take this code in to consideration. So it will go and start now from five. And now the first occurrence of the word code happens at 19. So it will return 19. Now the same thing for last index of if I pass in 24. So now it's going to start from 24 
and then going back to the left looking for code but it happens to be that code here index is at 24 so the index of the occurrence of the word code here is 24 and 24 is less than or equal to 24 the position so it will return 24 so for the index of we're looking for the search string that has the index greater than or equal to the position and for the last index of we'll look in for the index of the search string that are less or equal to 24 and now if i go and use 23 as the position now this occurrence here of the word code a index 24 is not any more less than or equal to 23 so this occurrence here doesn't meet the criteria so now we're going to the left looking for the word code and it happens to be this one here that has the index 19 so in this case this will return 19 so the last occurrence of the word code uh, starting from 23 for the last index of is 19 and now i'm gonna go and try a negative number for the position so whenever a position is a negative number for index of position will behave like zero so now you can think of this like if it were zero so now index of will start from zero looking for the first occurrence of code this means that it will return the index four and now the same thing for the last index of if i pass in a negative number for the position the position will be also zero so now last index of will start from zero going to the left looking for the word code well apparently it doesn't gonna find it so it will return minus one and now i'm gonna go and search for the index of an empty string and index of here will go and start from zero looking for an empty string well empty strings are everywhere in your string so whenever you look for an empty string for example if you look at for an empty string at 10 there is an empty string at 19 there is an empty string so empty strings are everywhere so index of will return zero because there is an empty string at zero and also if you're looking for the last index of an empty string in this case you're going to get 30 because there is an empty string after 29 and now for the last example i'm not going to pass in any parameter so now search string is undefined and I didn't actually expect this to happen. So index of when search string is undefined will actually go and look for the string undefined inside your string. So the first occurrence of undefined in our string here is nine. So this will return nine. So if for example, your string doesn't include the word or the string undefined, in that case, this code here will return minus one. The same thing for the last index of if you don't pass in the search string so now it's going to be undefined and last index of will look for index of the last occurrence of undefined so in our case here we have only one undefined so it's going to return nine and that's it for index of and last index of so let's move on to the next method